Good morning, YouTube. I have got a goodie for you today. We're back with Rate My Rhine, what could become my favorite series, I think. Now, this Rhine had a really bad habit, a habit of trying to fire strike the moon. Now, I don't know why. I don't know if he was just trying to keep that APM up or, you know, whatever it might have been, but this guy sent one too many fire strikes at the moon for me to handle. And, well, you'll see why. If you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share with a friend. I know you guys have been really excited to be able to expand out and be able to spectate more of you guys past the bronze and silver ranks. So I'm really excited to see even more past this video. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it so much. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This close to 20k. This close. Like literally right here. You see it? So hit the sub button if you haven't already. Appreciate it, guys, as always. And I will see you again tomorrow. Okay. So, he said, I'm a Ryan man who's been hard stuck diamond plat for two or three seasons now. I feel this game was close. My team said I fell, but I don't think I did. I want a pro's POV. You're going to the wrong guy. I am not a pro. But to see if it lost us the game or not, this is not I'm really like a, you know, this is just more of like a, let's just see what you got, dude. Let's just see what you got. Uh, skin check. <clears throat> Mm. Like a six. Okay, we're gonna move on. All right. Let's see what you got. They're holding this high ground. That's very weird. Very slow to try to to contest the res. Painfully slow, honestly. You're way too focused on this tracer. Oh, you've got beta bitch syndrome too. When it was only the Ryan swinging on you, you were trying to shield him. You, so swinging Ryan shit does not do anything. Like he can still hit you through your shield. And you're like right there, you back off. You guys have that. Clean that up. Where are you going? There's no way you you gave that up. It, I mean, their mercy's dumb for that res. Like let's just be real. But you get so scared. You got so scared and you're scared of your own shadow already. Minus points. Overall, decent understanding of how to attack it. Like, you know, understanding shield hops, understanding, you know, not to go too, too far. But at the same time, though, you don't go further enough. Also, your widow is cracked. Okay. Beta bit syndrome is kicking in because you're sitting near the cart, not trying to move up or anywhere knowing that their tanks are going top right it means you could take a lot of space but i'm okay with you sitting here if when the cart gets a little close to this bridge do you hop up do you watch me jj do you watch me enough are you gonna go for this high ground from the top are you gonna do it this is what i do are you gonna do it nope jj doesn't watch me must be new Contesting that high ground up there by jumping on the top of the cart and taking it is one of the strongest plays you can make. It's an alpha play. You can sleep from your Ana and no recognition for your HP pool. Good feed. Good feed. Your Widow is cracked. Your Widow is literally carrying. Against two shields is getting this many picks. Also, can you stop fire striking the sky? It's getting annoying. Rang this person, this person is 3k, 3100. You're also going into this fight with no shield? Ah, uh, wow, they actually got aggressive and went for a shatter play. You're getting alpha, JJ. JJ, they literally just sped onto you and just said, fuck you, fuck everything you're stand for, and just took it to you. You had no impact right there, and, and somehow they, they, you, they lost people, but... You literally get 300 HP on your shield, swinging around in circles, just like. You know why? Because you're probably looking at the sky. You're trying to fire strike it again. You're very twitchy. I don't know how else to describe it. You either play on very high sensitivity or. 
you're not confident in what's going on around you. You're trying to gather almost too much information. Fire strike accuracy. But if it was at the sky, you would have hit it. And Ryan's anti. Good kill. At least you're recognizing those types of plays. Go shatter. Freebie. Oh, mm, way too late now, but. I would like to see you get aggressive on this Sigma. What are you shielding? Who the fuck are you shielding and what are you shielding from? You still managed to lose two to the high noon. Why did you just solo shatter the fucking Sigma while you're nano? Dude, what are you doing? You're dead. Hello? My, my, my boy, JJ. When you sit there and shield for, for like 40 seconds doing nothing, you're admitting that you're getting rolled. You're just admitting it. You don't even attempt to do it. This is the rate my Rhine. Not roasting bronzes, but I swear to fucking God, if another fire strike goes at the moon, we are gonna flip that fucking switch. Okay. Last warning. You're a diamond now. You're a diamond player. You're supposed to be better than that. Your widow is just filthy. No way you're letting your Ana fight their Ryan. Listen, they are sleeping your like their Ryan is literally getting outplayed by people on their team. Not even you. Their Ryan is outplaying you and your team's outplaying him. That's literally what's happening right now. No cap on a stack. 110%. Your widow is going for flanks and getting two or three picks. Your Ana is sleeping this Ryan whenever she comes he comes cool. What the f did I say? Stop! It. Dude, your accuracy is fing zero. Your mechanics are dog. That's why you're silver on your support and your DPS is low fing goal. Because you're wasting like setting the fire strikes to the fing moon. You hit every wall. You have not hit a single target that wasn't at point blank. When your teammates say you were feeding, it's because not really you're feeding and dying, it's more you're feeding L charge and just existing. You know why you're existing? Because you're doing stupid like fire striking the moon. Neil ain't there no more. Winston's already come down. Hammond's here too. There's and nobody's on Lunar Colony. I don't know if you know, but there was an update about a year and a half ago, and everyone evacuated the fucking moon. There's nobody there anymore. There's no one to fire strike there. Stop. Get some help. You couldn't even get him one time. You can't even alpha him one time for me. You submit this to me and you can't even you can't even win this duel one time. One time. That fire strike accuracy is literally abysmal. Like I could ask my blind grandma to try to hit something better. The only time you hit it is on fing shattered targets. That's it. You do nothing in the fights where you actually have the ability to get resources and play aggressive. And then you feed when it's goes down instead of trying to pair up with somebody and trying to finish kills and trying to stay alive and be the center of attention. You just feed. Again, another sleep dart, another flashbang from the McCree. And here comes Xanoblade the fire to finish it all off. Oh my God. Yeah, your is dead. Never mind, they went for the ball with the tire instead. Your fire strike accuracy is literally pissing me off. 
You know why? In my theory I said at the beginning of this video is because of stuff like that. The mechanical skill of a silver of support player and low gold DPS player is not the equivalent of a diamond tank player. In my opinion, and I hate to be really rude, but I do not think that this is well deserved. I think this is more of you have a good understanding of the game and have you filled a vacuum of a power gap where there's not many tank players. You have abysmal mechanical skill. Abysmal. And now you could say Ryan is one of the least mechanically needed heroes in the game, and you wouldn't totally be wrong with that. By the way, there's what there was five, 10 seconds left, and you're you're literally fucking picking your ass out of the choke. What the f dude? There's no way you just did that. You just sat at the choke looking around for 15 seconds when you had to go touch point, and then you had to pin, and you died because of it, and you shatter nothing. Listen, you are lost. You are not. You are so lost this game. You would not. Listen, like, I'm, like, it's not even, like, I'm not trying to, like, be, like, rude, but, like, that's kind of the point of these is to, like, you know, tell you how it is. You have, you, you panic. You have a good understanding of high of the game from a higher level, like, how it's supposed to be played. And that's how you set up fights well and you path pretty well. But then the second anything goes wrong, your mechanical skill falls apart. Your decision-making falls apart. Your panic sets in. And that's where your silver support and your low gold DPS kicks in. Okay, so okay, were you just debating me? Because now you you now you swap to an S tier skin. Okay, well, did you just hand is did you hand the controller off to somebody else? Is your girlfriend playing now? How many of us is hitting to avoid his teammate? Well, in realistic realistically, it's not his fault because he has a good understanding of the game, but you were not, in my opinion, a diamond tank player. You have it, but it's not. Shouldn't be. Um. This just kind of shows that if you make like good beginning decisions, you can do a lot on Ryan. But like, you're not understanding how to win the duels. And I could tell just by your profile in the beginning, you don't play much of the hero. You don't have the, the, I don't know, I don't want to say guts, but more of like the willpower to win the duels with that like your shield bot like you're literally shield bot right now and okay i know are you going with the doom okay you know that's that's fine that's just... okay that's fine but this is this is more or less that you watch other people play the game and like you know, you understand like playing high ground and like you under you like like look at the difference. Like you are you were playing high ground. Like you understand that you're supposed to be up here playing this area. Now, do you know what you're supposed to be doing with it? Not really. Like you drop down here, which isn't actually a terrible idea. It was just a little early, and then you get alpha pinned, and you, they almost flip it on you. You you do not have any reaction time. You don't have any mechanical skill. That's really really. That honestly probably holds back your support and DPS more than anything, because game sense wise, it's not the worst. It's not the worst, but it's not the best, right? I, I would honestly say that your game sense is probably what's carried you this far. Um, and, but like you, you lose that killer instinct in mid fight. You have the you have the instinct in mid game. Come on, you can do it. Make the jump. You know how to do it, right? Never mind, you don't want to go up there because you have shatter. Like, your team is literally dominating them right now, and you're still manage managing to get fucking dominated right now. Like, I hope you know that. Like, like your team just got a flex high noon, and, and you were down taking the 1v1 duel with the Rhine and about to lose with a Mercy Pocket. And you got rolled. get one back but I think you're in that fight no matter what no I mean like it does go to show that how much knowledge is power in this game like you understand high ground you understand like the pathing and beginning of fights but then the second kicks off you fall apart so it's like, 
just even understanding those beginning things and trying not to feed much helps you a ton. And it's not like you're a feeder. You're definitely not a feeder. You're only a feeder when you're trying to make a play. And you don't try to make plays very often. Which, to be honest with where you're at, is probably for the best. But that's not for the best for, like, getting better and climbing. Like, even in the, all these situations, like, your free gets a 2k, your sigma's off flanking. You know? Like, you are just doing a, a decent job of existing right now. That's it. I'm just depressed I'm not diamond after seeing this. Well, this guy probably also understands, like, you see every single time, every fight resets high ground. Every single fight resets high ground, you know? Doesn't have the killer instinct, doesn't have, by the way, there's tilt swap to hog ball, so this game is probably over, but, you know, doesn't have the killer instinct, doesn't have mid fight, and has terrible mechanics. That's the big things that are probably holding him back from going even further, you know? So if you're not diamond and you think by watching this that you should be diamond, maybe that's the thing you're missing. Because I don't think he's diamond from what I saw. But you also have to give him credit that every single time on defense, he went back high ground. On offense, right? On offense, now, he did it a little bit too much because at some point you had to start to learn to chat, like to trust and understand. But I mean, even if you see here, right? Is it here? Where is it exactly? Maybe it's... I think it's somewhere in this area. You constantly turn around and check the fire strikes, the moon. Like, see, like, you're turning around, like, checking for your team. And, like, that's fine and well, but at some point you have to have, like, a game sense mental understanding that, like, you can check once or twice, but checking, like, four times and, like, there, you're holding shields, still checking around. You're gonna check one more time, I think. Oh, they rushed you, actually. There. That was when they rushed you. But as we go th went through this, there was quite a few times where, like, he's turning around, he's checking. 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 Like, and, like, that's a good thing to do when you're learning, like, in the beginning. But, like, once you get kind of further, you need to just know. And if you don't know, well, you ain't going to get very far. So, overall rating... If I had to give it as a diamond rating, I'm going to be real with you, and I'd give you like a three. However, though, however, the defense was a lot more redeeming. And if I had to give you an overall scale, I'd probably give you like a five and a half. It's impressive that you're diamond, but silver on support. Um, that shows me that you've put in work to understand the game. However, though, your mechanical skill is severely behind with the rank you're at. Severely. So if you had to swap, say, Winston, say, swap Orissa, say, swap Diva, Zarya, Hog, whatever you had to swap to, you would not be able to even keep up in any way, shape, or form. Now, for myself, if I had to swap, say, Zarya or Hog or something, yes, would I not be at GM? I think it's pretty safe to say. Would I be high masters? Absolutely. If you had to swap off Ryan, I wouldn't even say you were probably high plat. I would say you were absolutely back down in low gold, probably high silver. Your Ryan is good off of your game sense. That is it. That's where the line gets drawn. After that, it's gone. There's no mechanical skill. There's no killer instinct. There's no outplay potential. There's no mind games. There's no decision making. Nothing. That's where it ends. Five and a half out of ten. It's the best I'm going to give you.